Cool. Okay. Um, right. Where do we go next now? That's the question. We go back to, to uh, Jivko and talk to him? Yeah, with him. No, I don't want to go to the bathroom just yet. No, I, I think we're good. Yeah, I've already relieved myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, nothing to do with this. One of the steps in the middle is attempt to leave the apartment. Okay, so that's the main door out, which is... Oh, okay. Yeah. Once I leave this place, I'll never come back. I should take that decrepit cat with me. I can't leave him here alone to die. Okay, so we need to bring the cameras. Um, check downstairs. Might be someone down there. I mean, there's not much here, would there be? Oh. That was never for. Yeah, there was. What was uh, it? That was for the rat. Oh, yeah. So then. That was in, that was in the. Guys room. It was in the guy's room, yeah, so then now we can use that for the on the cat then. And we can take it home. <clears throat> that's all we that's all we needed was the cat. No no, no he that, that was always there. The rat is Ah yeah, that was yeah. the second one, okay. Yeah. Cool. Well then that's that's a sort then. We can bring the we can protect the cat. He has go, got away. Uh, go into the bathroom to reach the bedroom. That's where we just were. Go into the bathroom. To reach the bedroom. Go downstairs. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Bleach. Go into the bathroom to reach the bedroom and grab a document free from the desk. Okay. Teleport down. Yeah. So we did have something to do. Yeah, no, we've been. Yeah, document Listen from the here. desk. Oh, okay. there. Look. Yeah. The night I passed out, I talked to Ludmilla on the phone, that much I was certain of, but I never made it to the church, just as we discussed. I woke up late in the night without a full grasp of reality. Those damn drugs kicked harder than ever. That rush of anger, the evil crawling inside, the darkness in my mind. That couldn't have been the drugs, could it? I was locked, in, locked inside, something was blocking the doors. I survived a week with the food I had in my room, with the nightmares. I couldn't stop the nightmares, I couldn't stop seeing my dead parents' faces. Each time I woke up, I told myself it couldn't be true, that it was my mind playing tricks. When I was awake, all I could think of was, uh, was the villa left without me because I was so stupid to use again. But then that man came and accused me of killing my parents and I saw their slowly decomposing bodies in the next room. All the bad things that my parents did to me. I always despised them, but I never thought I hated them enough to murder them in a such gruesome manner. All I ever did in the end was to mess up my life far more than they did. I'm the only one to blame for everything. I'm longing for a tiny spark of light. Poor kid. He needs salvation. Uh, we're not prepared to care about him, are we? No, I don't right. think so. I think you're, I think we're done with his uh, subplot. He's been figured out. Now the important thing to save is the cat. Yeah. Save the cat. Save the cat. Save the cat. God, I, I fucking hate how awful the lighting is. Yeah, it's shit. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of in a decrepit state, so. It's also hiding the corners, crucially. <laughs> Use pet cage. I'm leaving for the funeral, kid. Come with me, come on. I headed toward the Baroda's monastery. I wanted to pray for the viewer and for this country, <laughs> even though I felt like everything was in vain. I wonder if we meet a mysterious general there by any chance. You can't leave him. Oh. And yet you did. <laughs> well, I think we're referring to the captain. Okay, okay. <laughs> We stayed away from the main I'm curious if you can leave without the cat and just ignore the prompt. Yeah. This new Pretty sure it can. Is only death and ruin. After we got out of the city, chances are it's actually one of the down. achievements. <laughs> yeah. We arrived at the monastery, but we found it closed. The party had sequestered it, but fortunately it was spared from the flames, at least for now. Okay, right, so let's. That's Laura there. That's Laura there. Still in that red, red suit? Red spandex suit. Yeah. Unfortunately. I've spoken at the funeral home and with the priest to have a beautiful service for the I'm waiting for Father Abraham to come and open the chapel. Oh God, these bloody flowers in December will make me get nervous. I admit they are strange. Considering the rest of the city is on fire, I think I'll take some greenery. Anyway. I'll go to the chapel. Cold here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll let that slide. Yeah. 
And regarding what we talked about on the phone, um, you were right. We're in a, yeah, you know me, it's supposed to be really pretty I'm cold. the only one who should carry the weight of my sins. I just wanted you to know I regret the things I did. Global warming came I early. Yeah. What you've been through, but I can't understand your regret. I have the burden of my own sin. For now, I just want to ask. So we have three people things. now who have, like, either killed or done something horrible, and they're all looking for salvation between her, Zivko, and ourselves. Okay. Uh, do we want to explore much, or do we want to just heads for the exit? <laughs> I think we'll need to explore. For to see what's going on first. Oh, uh, side note, uh, do not skip end credits. Yes, just in case. Okay. Just as an editor's note there, once we do have the end credits, leave them to me and you guys can head off. No. Save us the time. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, we're not getting out of here for midnight. Do you actually want to finish it tonight? I know these are like... This is a, this is a chunky chapter. Yeah. It's the last one. I guess. I, I, I have no strong feelings. <laughs> okay. This basically lost me after we had a chat with Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I feel like this game has jumped the shark at least four times. It, it is very confused with what it wants to be. Yeah. Um, it's, I, it's, I, 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 and like the random chat with Satan is like, why... What was the point of that part of it? Yeah. It has absolutely no bearing on the rest of the plot. Mm. Okay, theoretically it kind of does tie in your, your father. It's a, it, it's, a, it, it's, it's a battle between good and evil, and we pick good and he picked evil. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. you don't need to, to put that part in of it. You can, it you've seen that he's picked evil from the rest of it. Exactly, yeah. To be fair, I think you could always you could say that at least one bit of this game just doesn't fit with the rest of it. Uh, but the okay, choice basically, on which one, as soon yeah. as like, the, mo the rich as fuck monasteries have hyper technology yeah that that that's one yeah that's one i've got a feeling feeling about this didn't want to yeah, leave right. any ideas on the cutting and the editing floor and they really should have mm. it, it is like okay because i understand it's a it's a fairly painful process when writing things that a lot of things that an author might care about might have to just go because they don't job. really add enough to warrant the added length. Yeah, exactly. And they... Who is he? I, guess, I think my, I do with some of my friends is that we read, like, bad RPG books. Mm. Yeah. And the very worst of the ones are the ones that where the author felt the need to include their every fucking notion. Yeah, as, as in, like, as, as Kira said, like, it's kind of like, you can't pick, the like, game can't decide what it is definitely better, right? For RPGs. And that actually includes... That was our mother. Yeah. Nice. We found. We we found. To be honest, our mother is not what you call a good enough person to bother with. She's completely crazy. I mean, Jesus. There's some. Uh, like, there's like the inbreeding didn't feel needed. Yes. Mm. Of pleasure. all things, that that did not feel needed. Plot twist, no end. Or character development, no end. When like we ultimately didn't need it. again. Well, incidentally, we still don't know fucking anything about us. No. So unless they've got like something building up to this or not, I don't know. So this would be her resting place. If only I'd come home a week early. Can't know if things would have worked out better. Don't look for answers just in this world. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the game that I'm going. Fuck if I know. I'm not looking for answers. You're not going to find them. Keeps switching between Ivana with God doesn't want his children to the blindfold the sash, yeah. and the swords across it and and I don't understand just ordinary overwhelming yeah love. I'm not sure God cares at all it's like whichever ones are in the flashback and then ones as, and when she's anointed no, where she's yeah no, with the ones where she's uh, waiting for us yeah to hit certain points she doesn't have the, the sash or the swords true yeah it's only when she's talking to us flashy lantern that is a flashy lantern mm. okay Egg. Mystical energies. More mystical energies. Hooray! Yeah. I'm trying to think this game is just really badly made Christian propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also bad Christian propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is there any sort of, is there <laughs> such thing as good Christian propaganda? Except for the bad no, priest. No, it's in 
Bad 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 yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, it, 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 I think it's just bad in Dirty Fingers' point. Well, it, it, I, it's, it's, it's back to that conversation we're having about what this game actually wants to do. Is it an adventure game where it's diving into orthodoxy like, and Eastern The main Netflix? character has just had a chat with a lip with a with a return saint that I'm having a talk with you, a glowing golden saint, and quite frankly, I think you're full of shit. Mm. But, the, but this, like, this is what I'm saying. You see, like, if uh, certain adventure games wouldn't bother doing mm. that because it's too surrealist. You know, it's too abstract. Whereas then it goes into the horror aspect where everything's all it, everything's a cosmic horror essentially. But again, it doesn't delve into that either. But we also have fucking robots. We also have robots now as well. That are pull out of fucking Star Wars. Yeah, it is literally like they had like ten car, yeah. different pilots of ten different games and just didn't decide which one they wanted. You still don't get it. Wait, hang on. Does this mean that your man, the fucking... That's a machine gun. That's yeah, your right. man, your, the fucking guitarist is uh, around. Mm-hmm. The, bird the, bird is the bird is around, <laughs> yeah. Who is, I guarantee, is going to end up being fucking Zotov in the end or something. Like... Mm-hmm. Right, so... <laughs> fucking why not? Yeah, like... What? Or, He's or the better one yet, that tried to use the wrong key. Or, or better yet, hmm. it's the author self-insert. Oh, God, do you know what probably is to and all? Like... Because he's oh. been, he, 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 has oh. been, he has been anti-communist and anti-technology, and he's been able to just kill anything he wants. Gravedigger's body has been reduced to a pile of gold. Oh, that's somehow ironic, to be honest. Yeah. That he himself doesn't get buried, he gets eaten. Yeah. Radio. They never believed me back in the days when I was a priest. I tried to warn them. Our freedom is illusory, fragile, like a wafting leaf in the wind. I prayed that this day would never come. If they banished me, but I am prepared. When the Antichrist comes, I'll proceed as written in the forbidden teachings of the Holy Fathers. The Antichrist? This is disturbing. No, it's not. No, it's kind of where it's been. This has been going the whole time. Oh, hello. It's the least I can do. May Saint Ivana bring peace to this poor man's soul. Boo! This man had dedicated his life to God. He was ready to face this apocalypse, but his life was taken before he could complete his work. Wow! Holy shit! Okay. That that's um that's well, a lot. I can read that later. Yeah. I implore thee who alone art good to merciful look upon me the sinful and humble servant mm. and purge my soul and heart of wicked conscience. And by the power of the Holy Spirit enable who I am clothed with the clothes of sin to stand before the holy al- altar and to perform the sacrifice. Uh, sacred ritual of the great sacrifice. Okay. okay. So it's so, locked. Oh my god, why is everything locked? Because this, this, this is the final puzzle, isn't it? Oh my god, this is a long chapter. Yeah. Looks like something should be placed here. Something is missing. Okay. I don't know what to do with this. I'll just leave it here. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Ointment for the dead. Okay. Oh, we have to get the bars right, look. See, oh, I, I, I thought you were going to poison the creatures eating the guy's body. No, they're gone. Look, sure, Ivana turns around. They're all... The, the whole This whole place has been blessed. Ivana's blessed the place. Yeah. So if you turn around to where the bed should be, which is about 180 degrees... Yeah. And go, like, another 90? Like, it, it's... The whole place has been cleaned. It has been cleansed. Oh, so he's not... So basically, just... He's... His, his home, his, the room has changed completely. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's yeah. solely because now we, we put the we put a blessing on the place and whatever evil is here is now gone. Including his body. Including his body. Lock them, they're off. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, in fairness, at that, at that, by the time that we got to it, it was giblets. So, you know. Uh, I would say it, it, it's basically chicken like a grain. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, do we want to read that, that document? Uh, yeah. I was right. The day has come. It all started when they called me to dig a grave at the old ceremony in Kalmia. The poor grave digger fell in a ditch, drunk, breaking his neck. 
They told me I was preparing the grave for a suicide victim. A crazy old woman had put a rope around her neck and ended her miserable life. Yet the priest, Abraham Marcus, was preparing for a traditional funeral. Naturally, this confused me. We all know the Orthodox Church is forbidden to perform funeral service to those who willingly end their life. The priest must have had doubts over how the woman died. After finishing my work, I remained there for the sad event to learn more. There weren't many people attending. Father Abraham was reading the prayers for the departed while the three or four people awaited further away to lower the coffin in the grave. A young man gazed with compassion towards the daughter of the deceased. Much closer to her was another woman who fell out of place. The thing about her I didn't like at all. Who dresses in red at the funeral? Like the whore of Babylon from the apocalypse. They were all silent. The dead woman's daughter seemed to be rather absent, like she was transfixed, her gaze somewhere on the cemetery path. I looked in the same direction. I couldn't help but feel a strange presence, unseen yet evil in nature. It stood there. When the priest blessed the gathering, it vanished in the blink of an eye. That, to me, was the beginning. Okay. Right. All right. Let's get some... So the doomsday prayer for priests are right. Yeah, you know it's bad when they've actually been proven to be correct. Oh, hello. He's there. Yeah. He's there. It's... You? I thought you were dead. Not yet. I escaped death more than once by now. However, I'm not sure I'll make it past midnight. The wretched monster will be here soon. Do you mean Zotov? Who else? Haven't you noticed that this is the only church around that isn't yet burning? But what the hell are you doing here? It's my sister's funeral. It seems Father Abraham has arrived. Uh -huh. Listen, can you help me bring her coffin inside the chapel? Image I am of your unutterable glory. Oh, I bear the scars of my stones. Wait. Oh, sovereign <sighs> Lord. And cleanse me through your loving kindness and the homeland of my heart's desire. She looks well after having her jaw broken. Me by making me right, a yeah. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Who invited the giblets? I think they invited them themselves in. Looks like it. Any keys? Like, I know, I know this is a sorrowful time, but like, uh, any keys? Is he there with the soup and sandwiches? Ooh, that looks like a I'll soup. I'll leave it here for now. Uh, no, no, I want to take it. We might get it later. Perhaps there's some plot oriented conversation want it to have. Now. Let the plot advance, Anna. Fuck the plot. <laughs> well, the plot's already <laughs> fucked as it is. My condolences, friend. Listen, I know how you feel. Seeing your family torn apart is painful. In fact, you're speechless. I'm by your side. You're not alone. Even the angels are here. Or am I the only one who can see her? No, we can Dude, do it. Dude, take your hat off. He's probably hiding that his would horns. More <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair point. We got there. Marble. You want ash? Oh, it's incense resin. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Ivana, Laura must be nearby. What if she sees you? She won't. If she saw me, she'd be terrified. I don't want to cause her any pain. I've already forgiven her. Good for you. Yeah. So, great. Yeah, that the guy in the patent sunglasses is almost definitely all for insert. Yeah. Or the big bad. Or the big bad. Miss Laura, we inform you that your request for the preparation of the body of the media of, of Miller, sorry, Maria M has been completed. We closely supervised the employees to make sure that their most attention, care and respect was given to the deceased. Due to the severe disfigurement of the face, we had to use state-of-the-art methods for the facial reconstruction. Nah, we also inform you that the work was carried out in the most discreet way in the shortest time possible. No questions were asked by the staff. Oh, we it's a face craft! <laughs> we thank you for your generous donation to your institution, and we offer our sincerest condolences for your loss. Respectfully, the City Morgue Administration. Huh. How nice of them. Someone paid big bucks. Mmm. <clears throat> I wonder who. And the incense offering. Do you make some incense? Incense offering. Is that a loaf of bread? A candle with a loaf of bread in it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, sacrifice Might be an orthodox thing. I, it's I, the body of Christ. Of course. Born in 1970, she was 22 when she they died. They used the picture that uh, the boyfriend had bought. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that's her <laughs> <born. laughs> That no, is her no, not, the, not the one that she had the... Not the, the fully revealing. Yeah. Not the, the fully revealing. The other one, yeah. The mostly revealing. Oh. The le slightly less scandalous one. Yeah. Okay. 
Forgive me, Ludmilla. Forgive me for not taking better care of you at all. The abomination is near. We must not let him interrupt the funeral. Bring an incense offering before God. It will keep him at a distance. Incense. Alright, right, so we got the resin. So what else We're we need? There was a document there that showed you how to do it. Uh, there, yeah. On that side. Let me just jiggle my way across there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Incense offering. Squinty? Squinty! With the, uh, L2. Too. Yeah, would the saints give rest? Oh Christ! The sermons. You put it into the thing. Yes, we need the the case. We need the chalice thing above. Hmm. Where do we get the chalice thing above? Uh, I hope this is not. No, to the right there. It's right there oh, on yeah, the table. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. I need something to make this work. Have we have the resin. Do we need? Do we need something else though? We need the matches, I think, to light it. Can mm. I? Can I get the box now? Yeah, you could do. There you go, charcoal. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's why you couldn't do it first off. I hope the perfume of the incense will keep us safe. On the other Yeah, funny how that works, isn't it? <sighs> okay. Oh look, see, we got a little twinkle, twinkle now. Okay. We have blessed this place. Well, it's, it's, uh, what's that other uh, thing on the table? Or some tea, my dude. <laughs> yeah, this is where the tea, the, the tea make is. Okay. Okay. Some clockwork stuff. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And now we go solve the puzzle. Are you all right? Oh, oh, she's been banished from me. Oh, oh, dear. The, it, the incense is yeah, uh, getting to her. outside, yeah. I can barely breathe. I feel like I'm suffocating. It's just some incense. It's supposed to protect us. <laughs> My throat burns. I'll bring you some water. Okay, so we need to find some water. There's water outside. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Being rained on doesn't count. <laughs> okay, and to cope. Give me some. Give me some of that beverage, my dude. Well, let's hope this one will feel better. It's holy water, after all. Oh! Oh! oh. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! <coughs> oh my! You give me to drink. You want to poison me? It burns like fire. Oh God! Calm down. It's just water. Listen, just stay outside until you feel better. I'm going back to my sister's room. You deceitful oh. wretch! How dare you leave me here? It's cold and raining. Lend me your cloak, Mr. Lazarus. Don't. Oh, so that whole puzzle Open was to get her out of the funeral. Yeah. Open the door. I kind of like this ending Tell better. Tell the disgusting priest yeah. to stop praying. Tell him to stop at once, or my master will snap his neck. You hear the voice turning now. Okay. You get to see full yeah. wretch. How dare you leave me here? It's cold and raining. <laughs> 